What's up, YouTube family? I've been learning a ton about Axie Infinity since I did my recent interview with Jiho, which if you haven't seen that, uh, it will be popping up on the screen right here and you, and you can check that out if you're interested. But yeah, I've been diving really deep into Axie Infinity, into the AXS token, a lot more just in in the NFT scene in general. And I, I have a lot of a lot of thoughts to share, uh, both about uh, NFTs and um, how they, they, they may or may not be a fad in a lot of ways, but then also about uh, Axie Infinity and then why I think there is a place and a really long-term, um, I think, uh, hold of value that, that some NFTs will have. So while uh, a lot of them are, are probably fads, um, I think... NFTs do have a really long-term uh, future. They, they, they aren't going to all be fads. I'll, I'll put it that way. And I've, I've started to become really, really confident in Axie Infinity. And I want to give you some background. So I, I think since I, was, since I was little, I have always loved virtual worlds. Um, I got really into Guild Wars as a kid, which is a um, MMO, which stands for a massive multiplayer online uh, role-playing game, RPG. And I got really into that as a kid. I like started my own guild. I was a guild leader. And like as a 15-year-old kid, I had like 100 guild members and we would literally do like meetings and stuff. And I just loved this idea of a fantasy world that had real people in it, real connections. And because of that was more real than um, a fantasy world that is that only exists for you. Um, and I saw that a little bit more recently that cryptocurrencies, that Ethereum, that smart contracts were going to enable a whole new layer of realism. So not only are you moving to interacting with other real people, which, which makes the world real just because there's more uh, uh, conscious minds that are connected to it, but then you can then you can connect a real economy on top of that as well. And then it's, it starts to become very real where the resources that you're making in the video game game can, can feed you in real life. And, and that's when work and play truly do become one. And um, I loved the book Ready Player One. And I, and I really think that, that VR might have a, have a role to play in future metaverses. Um, but, but honestly, this connection with gaming and cryptocurrency is the, the next big step, I think, even before uh, virtual reality in making a, a more real and concrete metaverse for people to spend their time in, uh, to work and to play in, which I think is going to be a lot of the future of work. And especially when you start to have AI and robots doing a lot of the necessary things that we as humans need to survive, um, a lot more human mind power can be spent literally in other worlds um, because this world's kind of you know secure and we, we got it on lock kind of um, so even though I've been I've been very confident that gaming is is going to be adding this next layer of realism uh, where you connect the real economy I haven't been sure uh, which games are really going to be heading up this this change because it's it's I think it's a lot easier to see the big macro change coming that, that cryptocurrency and gaming are colliding and that's going to just revolutionize the entire industry. But it's a lot harder to pick which games are, are going to be successful in, 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 that, in, this, in this new reality. Um, because Axie Infinity is not the only cryptocurrency enabled game. It is, it is the most played. It is the most popular right now. But the industry... The, the whole, the whole uh, shift is so new, so few people know about it, and it's so tiny that, that who's to say Axie Infinity is going to remain the most played cryptocurrency game, right? Like, like nothing guarantees that at all. Um, so I have been diving in to see, well, well, is there another game currently that exists that, that I think might de dethrone Axie Infinity? And honestly, no, there's not. Like, 
Axie Infinity is really far ahead in the space, even though they're so so new still, which is which is crazy. They're new, but they're years ahead, literally multiple years ahead of the next biggest, uh, most developed cryptocurrency game. And I'm not saying that there's no other currently promising cryptocurrency games, but I, I really just, I feel like there's not a real threat to Axie Infinity in the cryptocurrency game space right now, in the Ethereum uh, game space, blockchain game space right now. The My biggest fear after all of the research that I've done is not that another tiny cryptocurrency game is going to rise up and, and, and beat out Axie Infinity. My only real fear is that like, uh, Pokemon or something uh, will have like a massive company will just throw their weight behind revolutionizing gaming and like create an NFT based cryptocurrency blockchain uh, blockchain based game that will kind of just steal all the wind out of the sails of Axie of Axie Infinity. That that is is really where. I see a threat coming from, but it's important to remember that it's not guaranteed. Well, there's two things important to remember. One, it's not guaranteed that one of these big companies is really going to dive into cryptocurrency gaming. And if they do, it's not guaranteed that it's going to, well, I mean, eventually they, they, they will ever, because all of gaming will be NFT cryptocurrency gaming, but it's not guaranteed that it's going to be like in the near future. And I think if if these big companies give Axie Infinity another year or two to, to both like improve their battling system, implement land, all of the stuff that they're working on and just build up popularity, then at that point, the threat, like the longer time, the more time that Axie Infinity has, the less threat of really big developer coming in and taking the wind out of their sails, the, the less threat that becomes. Because the more established Axie Infinity is, um, the, I mean, that they could, they could compete at a certain point. If you, if you give Axie Infinity enough time to establish itself as the dominant cryptocurrency game and build up a big enough user base, then it doesn't matter who comes into the cryptocurrency space. Axie Infinity might be able to, to survive and thrive, um, if, if they're given enough time. So, so even though it's a risk, it's a diminishing risk as Axie Infinity continues to execute and, like, even though big gaming companies know about cryptocurrency gaming, maybe, um, they, they haven't really shown any interest or made any annou announcements about pursuing this space. Okay, but then the second thing to remember is that even if a really big uh, game developer decides to jump into the cryptocurrency blockchain gaming space and, and tries to implement a play to earn type game like Axie Infinity, it is very unlikely that they're gonna be willing to actually give ownership of that game to the players of the game. Whereas Axie Infinity is giving the, the ownership, the treasury control, eventually the game itself is becoming decentralized through the AXS token. Um, and if that remains a, a hedge, like a, a area where Axie is not going to have to compete because a big developer is not going to be willing to give up their game to the players, then Axie could just win no matter what. Like it doesn't matter if a if a really big game developer dives in, even if they have like a slightly more enjoyable gaming experience. Um, and even if they have decent play to earn mechanics, if they're unwilling to decentralize the game, then there's going to be, I don't know what, what percentage of players, but there's going to be a percentage of players that prefers to play Axie because they own Axie and they're like, they're, um, participating in an, an ecosystem that they're a part of in every single, um, like even from the very top to the very bottom, they they get to they get to um, participate in every single part of the game's economics. Whereas a big company, if they just keep the full ownership of their of their blockchain game, then um, a lot of the money is is because of how capitalism works is going to be getting sucked out of out of the players and it's going to go to that company. Whereas when the players get to earn get to own the game themselves, it guarantees that the money that goes into the game goes back out to the players because the players own the game. And, and that's going to probably almost ensure that Axie Infinity stays one of the best 
play to earn games in, in the gaming ecosystem. So uh, I just recently watched um, Axie's AXS announcement uh, live stream, which was about an hour. And that was like four months ago, but before I even knew Axie Infinity existed. So I, I wanted to go back, do my due diligence and, and see if I would learn anything from that video. And I really did. And, and it's starting to make me a lot more bullish on Axie Infinity, the fact that they truly do want the players to own the game, control the game's tre uh, treasury, and um, b because the, the players control the game, it's going to continue to develop, I think, in really great ways for the player. And, and that's what makes me so bullish about Axie Infinity long term. So um, for those of you guys who have been keeping up with me on, on Twitter, uh, you will know that I recently dropped quite a bit of money, a lot of money, a ton of money uh, into Axie Infinity um, buying NFTs, buying a, a rare Axie. I actually bought two uh, mystic axes. Uh, one was just like a kind of, I, I guess, bottom tier, like not that rare of a mystic part, um, but it was, it was relatively cheap. And then the other one that I bought was, was for 25 Ethereum, which is super expensive, uh, in the current marketplace for a single mystic axie, but it's the 24th axie ever born, which I think is going to be gaining a ton of value when there's millions and millions of axes. The 24th fourth is just going to be gaining way more premium at that point. Then also it, it has the third rarest mystic part and it's the first First ever mystic to spawn with that part. So uh, because of that, I was willing to pay up for it. Um, I don't I don't know if I would even be able to sell it now. It's possible that I, I couldn't even sell it for the price that I paid for it some, for maybe a year or two, but that didn't really matter to me. I just, I wanted to take it off the market. I wanted to own it. And uh, I, was, I was willing to pay a bit of a premium for that uh, because I really do believe that five years from now, <laughs> the amount that you're going to be able to get for some of these rare axes, who knows? Who knows? There really is no roof. And uh, yeah, the NFT market kind of has to develop a little bit. But um, I, let's let's conclude this video by just uh, p giving a little bit of a warning, though, even though I am super, super bullish. Well, first of all, this is not financial advice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I also bought AXS tokens. All right. <laughs> um, I, I did buy a lot of those, too. But yeah, so even though I'm, I'm, uh, I'm very bullish on X Infinity, I'm very bullish on cryptocurrency gaming. Um, I am not like... <sighs> I don't know how bullish I am on the on the entire non-fungible token NFT space. I think that a lot of NFTs are going to be valueless in the future because here's the thing about NFTs. Yes, an NFT is is completely unique. There's nothing else like it. But there is an infinite number of unique things that can be made. Like like there can be a hundred trillion. NFTs that are all unique from each other. And most of them, guess what? Most of them aren't going to have any value at all. There has to be a reason for something unique to have value. And um, like, I think some NFTs from like really incredible artists, those are, are going to be keeping, keeping their value for sure. Um, but, and then I think things like Axie Infinity, where there's a real metaverse and ecosystem that exists, a player base that loves the game, those sort of NFTs will also keep their value, which is why I was willing to pay almost $40,000 for a single digital pet. Like it, it, it will take me 10 years of playing Axie Infinity to pay off um, pay off that Axie. Um, if, if, but I'll, I'll be able to, like I said, I think I'm going to be able to sell it for, for a profit, but, but, but wait a second, let's pause. Let's, I can actually pay off a $40,000 investment into this game. Even if I'm unable to ever sell this Axie by just playing the game, that is insane. If I just play the game for 10 years, by the way, I'm calculating and being able to make $10 a day playing Axie Infinity, which I, I do think is, is very doable for me. And that's my goal. I'm going to be uh, trying to do that. And I have been doing that now for almost a month successfully. So yeah, I, I think that even, even somebody like me who's put a lot of money into this game, just playing the game, I think I'm going to be making everything that I put into this game uh, back out. And, and remember that if you're just buying in the three lowest tier axes, you can start making uh, around $10 a day if, if you're playing well. And um, yeah, you can you can earn that by with just a $300 investment. So it's, it's going to take you way less than 10 years if you're just going with like normal floor axes, which you can definitely win with. Like the, the super expensive axie I bought, guess what? 
you can buy a hundred dollar axe that will be able to be better than it in the combat. I didn't buy it for combat. I, I bought it because of its of its rarity and and how I think its value will appreciate in the future. So, yeah, that's just kind of like a more just. I wanted to share some thoughts about what I've been learning in Axe Infinity. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you are new to my channel and this is the first video you've seen of mine, or just if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe um, because I'm going to be making a lot of videos about Axe Infinity in particular, and then also the just in. NFT crypto gaming space. So if you're interested in that, then uh, definitely hit subscribe so you can stay up to date. Um, and also remember to hit like, because if you hit like, uh, the YouTube algorithm will promote this video to more people. And I appreciate it. See you guys next time. Bye.